Hey guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial of creating process and today's video will design this logo. And if we look at this logo, the logo comprises of two little alphabets and it has been beautifully attached together like a chain. And if we look closely, you can see that this portion is above the above this text and over here it is below. So we'll be creating this. So let's begin with the tutorial. So to create start with the logo, we'll take a text and write a text letter O. We are using Marad Pro the text and we'll be scaling this to approximately this much. Now we'll be converting this into object form. Go to object, expand, and this will convert this into object form. And after that, we need our text to be have certain thickness. And you can see that the thickness of this text is low. So we'll increase that by increasing the stroke thickness. So here we go. Here are the stroke thickness and you can increase it until you feel it. So you can see that it has got this thickness. Now the next thing is we will convert this into object form again because we don't need the stroke. We need our object to be this much thickness. So expand it okay and after that go to pathfinder and combine it so this will combine all the pieces and form a single object so next thing is we need we see that this text is having some dynamic look that is some in a perspective the upper one got certain thickness and the lower one is little thinner so we'll do that so we'll select this go to effect 3d rotate you can use the rotate option where you can uh, rotate these pieces and you can adjust the perspective here same way you want and the other thing is you can do the same effect uh, by using 3d extrude and bevel where you need to keep the extrude depth to zero and you can preview that now just rotate it increase the perspective view and just play it with that so we need to achieve this so you can see that here is thinner here is thicker and just play with the angles here and a little bit of rotation here and then after that click ok when you got that now go to object expand appearance this will convert this into object form now we need one more text here like this so we'll create that. So to create that, we'll use the text again. Write a letter O. Go to object. Expand it. Give it some stroke thickness. So give the stroke color to black and some certain thickness. You can increase it, scale it up. You can decrease it if it's large. Now, after that, go to object, expand it, and in the pathfinder, combine it. Now, the next thing is we need to rotate. We need you can scale this up like this, this much, and we have to place this here, like this. And before that, we'll just put some color here. So we'll choose this, fill this with some certain color, let it bit let, give our, our text these colors and give them some stroke color also like white, uh, which will not be visible here but it's there and you can increase the thickness, stroke thickness, that's all. We'll keep this like this for a while, now place it there. okay next thing is we have to do some adjustment here you can see this is forming a perspective view where here there is thinner and here there is thicker so we'll do that we'll go to effect 3d extrude and bevel over there just remove the extrude depth and increase the perspective and preview it Just keep on going at 
until you feel that it's forming the same view you can just keep on adjusting it here you can see there is getting thinner just give a few more moves tilt it more and here we go we got it I think a little bit more and after that you can click the OK button now convert this into object form expand it and group it and delete this portion which is extra this one also give it some the same color here and let's give them some stroke thickness all together so here we get it we can just place it properly so here we go now the next thing here is to create this portion here so to create that we will um, do something here we'll just select everything and in the pathfinder here we got divide option just click there and you can see every piece has been divided so ungroup it and these pieces are different separated now we will select this this and this and combine it select this this and this and combine it so you can see that you got the feel you got the exact feel here it's over above and now it's go below now next thing is to give some gradient color here you can see that here is some different color here is lighter and here so we'll create the gradient here so to create the gradient select this go to color in the gradient just click the option here and uh, let's give some three colors here here some there should be light color and dark and here a little bit dark now let's choose the color here so this is the darkest one like this this one is this color and this one is the lighter color I have separated out there now we will use this color to give some gradient color to this object so we'll create the gradient here so first what we will do is we'll select this in the color palette if you double click on this you got the color picker here you can s copy this and now select this go to this palette in the color here go to RGB and here paste it there and you can click OK button here so you got the color here in the same way in the same way we'll just double click here go there go to RGB and paste it again here and here for this we need this color so just go in there check out the color codes copy it and just select this and click here go to RGB and paste it there so here in this way you can get the color here now just play with the gradient tool we need we see that there's darker lighter and darker so we'll just do that here now here we go we got it we'll apply this to the same here also just click this with the eye picker tool select the eye color and just apply it and here we will do some little bit of adjustment we'll just dark lighten this up and this one we'll just make it darker we'll just make it darker like this next thing is we need to show that depth here if you see that it is over it's going over this so here is some shadow created there so we'll be creating the shadow and here also so to create the shadow we'll just duplicate this control C control F now fill it with some plain color like this and now go to object expand it okay ungroup it 
and select everything and just subtract it so here we got the piece here in the same way we'll duplicate this for again control C control F now go to object expand it this will separately create uh, this will separate the stroke and the body separately so just select everything and then I have done one mistake here we have to just go and do it again now before doing that we'll just fill it with some certain plain color because when you expand a gradient color it will divide that gradient into different pieces of shape so we'll avoid that now go to object expand it click ok so here we go we got our stroke separately and body separately now just subtract it so this is one this is one now the next thing is we'll use the line segment tool and draw a line segment over here fill it with some color here remove that then give the stroke color now select that and this and just move it aside a little bit now select this line segment go to object path divide object below and this will divide this into be small pieces different different now select these pieces and place it again on their respective places it should be placed over the original piece just zoom it in and place it properly in the same way we'll do here also we'll select the line segment just draw the line segment here fill it with some stroke color now select this this and move it a little bit empty as empty side and now select this line segment path divide object below and this will divide the object and we've got this piece so we'll bring back this pieces over the original ones just place it properly by zooming in in okay after that the next thing we'll do here is we'll uh, create the shadow using this color so select this in the stroke in the uh, gradient here remove the two colors now uh, select one of the color and reduce the opacity to zero and other one will use that for this color so we'll select this in the colors double click copy the color and in here select this object and paste it here in the RGB palette so select the RGB paste it and we have done it so in the, using the gradient tool you can just adjust it here so give the feel the same way now we'll just select it with the picker tool apply it and with the gradient tool just do some adjustment we'll select the other pieces with the eye picker tool eye selection and just adjust with the gradient tool now select other piece R picker select the gradient selection tool with the gradient selection gradient tool now just apply the depth here so we have created overall depth here now the last thing is to create the shadow to create our shadow here we'll use the ellipse tool draw this ellipse here fill it with some black color or gray go to effect three blur gaussian blur and blur it out a bit and now preview it and okay you can reduce the opacity here around 60 scale it down a little bit yep place it there arrange it to back we'll duplicate one more time control c control f scale it down and here we go place it there properly so at last we have completed our logo using this very unique style here so 
hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing and stuff you can press the subscribe button thank you